I've made a new custom GPT, which is specific to finding collections and categories from an e-commerce website. Now, I thought this was really, really useful. The reason this is so useful is currently there is a strategy where you can do the following. You can upload products to Shopify, WooCommerce. It doesn't really matter. And then you use those products to create category pages. Now, this is what I did very successfully with two men. However, I could only do this because I knew the products very well. I spent a long, long time thinking about the collections that needed to be added to the website. But even then, I've missed several categories that are very, very important and that could be bringing in a lot of traffic. So I'm going to show you exactly how to set up this GPT. The first thing you need to do is you just need either the product description or the product title. Now I can use the product URL just because of the way that we have set this up. It's uh, Cesare Attolini blue leather coat. Okay. So you can already see what ChatGPT will do. It can make a Cesare Attolini page, a blue coat page and a blue leather coat page just from this one thing. So control A, control C inside your products um, or just do an export. If you're on WordPress, you can very, very easily just do an export. Go to Google Sheets and then paste. And if you're doing a WordPress export, you won't need to do this. Um, you can just copy the name or the description or whatever fits for your business. So then right click on column A, sort sheets Z to A, and then control F and look for LOC like that. And then click on the first LOC and then go down to the last LOC, which means location, obviously. And hold shift, press click. Control C, Control A, delete, go to the very top, and then Control V. And then we'll just clean the data quickly. So we'll find and replace, and we'll find and replace lock, and then we'll find and replace slash lock. And then we have clean data. So specifically because we have um, all of the, pretty much all of the product information inside the URLs, that's all we have to do. So click on the bottom one, Control C, and then open a notepad, paste it into the notepad, control S, and then just save it as products.txt. And then we're going to head on over to our e-commerce category or category collection or category SEO GPT generator. Is that supposed to say? So let me just quickly change that. So this should be collection, collection, update, confirm. This is a really, really good uh, little GPT. Now it's not a very complicated ones, not a very complicated one, but I discovered that you can add things to GPT's knowledge by attaching a file and saying, add this file to your knowledge. And the reason that's so important is because knowledge is the way to get ChatGPT to read a PDF or a text file or whatever it might be. Now it's going to say using knowledge, it's going to take a while. So, We'll give it, I think it takes about three to four minutes. So, okay. So based on this information, I will now begin the process of categorizing these products into as many categories as possible, categories as possible for SEO optimization. Let's start. Parker coats, soft shell coats. None of these exist on the website. So wool overcoats. I mean, these are all things that I'm missing on the website. Do I really not have a collection for cargo pants? Oh, obviously it doesn't have my current collection, so it doesn't know. Yeah, no, obviously it doesn't have the current collections. So you could also add the current collections if you want to, to make sure it's not just copying them. But overall, I would just make sure let's, let's pretend that I have no collections and this is the beginning of a website, which is what I think this GPT is best for. Um, you should make all of these collections. Now this is just the first generation. Okay. So now I'm going to say, please continue with the details. So now it's going to go into, into even more detail and it's going to tell me specifically the pages, all of the pages that we need to make. Now I do actually like some of these simple sneakers is a good one. Everyday jeans is nice. Basic t-shirts, exclusive clothing lines, active t-shirts, fur coats. Now I don't have separate ones for each fur. That's another thing I should add. Uh, cashmere products. I definitely already have. Sheepskin products, I don't think we have that. Crocodile leather products aren't split into different categories. So there's a lot of potential here. Long parker coats, we could do white parker coats, black parker coats, blue parker coats, fur parker coats, waterproof parker coats, 
These are all things that do not exist on the website right now. I don't even think there's a category. There's a category for Italian Parker coats, but that's it. There's no other category. So you can very, very easily start to see just how powerful this is. Now, if we just quickly hop on over to Search Console, I do want to show you something very, very interesting here. So we'll go to Two Men, and we'll click on Performance, and I'm going to do Slash Collections. So this should show us the power of this methodology. Now, it's very, very up and down right now, but overall collections have a much higher ceiling, impression ceiling than a blog, because... You know, there, there are keywords like Kiton, Kiton Suits, Kired, Cesare Attalini, just keywords like Sneakers, Premiata, the brands. These all have huge, huge, huge searches every single month, okay? Designer Swim Trunks. And all this page is, if I just go on Designer Swim Trunks, all this page is, is just a very, very, very simple page. It's literally just a Shopify collection page. And I think you will be surprised to see how little content is on the page because Google recognizes that this kind of page, it doesn't need a lot of content. What you need is products. The content comes from the products, okay? So we'll see what else we got. Oh, wool overcoats, baseball caps, fur coats with all the different types of fur. Cargo pants, cotton cargo pants, green, velvet, leather boots. All of these are really, really good categories that I don't even know if half of these exist on the website right now. And you can just keep going. You can just keep using this custom GPT to do all of your categories. Now, this is specific for e-commerce, but you can make this work for non-e-commerce as well. But... I would highly recommend that you just use my topical authority generator. So if you just go to ChatGPT, click on uh, explore, and then type in topical, and then look for the phoenix, this topical authority generator will do basically the same thing, but for informational websites. And it's just based on the niche. It's not based on your actual website. And that's it. We now have 150, 200 categories that we can make. And then we can just say, now expand it even more. And it will keep going. It will look for new ones. It's basically unlimited. That's the really good thing about these custom GPTs. Based on the information that you put in, which is the uh, uploaded products, the amount of categories that can come out are, you know, thousands. So, so right here, I'm just going to say, now think of some new examples you haven't covered yet so i'm curious to see what it comes up with here yeah so i actually really like this idea business casual trousers as a collection this is something i've considered before so i do like that it's come up with that formal and business shirts again it's the same thing i i, I feel strongly that these would work well another thing that might work well as well is like affordable or cheap but i can't use the word cheap on this website unfortunately Anyway, that's it, guys. Um, I'm really, really happy because I found out that you can actually make ChatGPT use knowledge with uploaded files. So I'm going to be coming up with a whole new bunch of Chat, uh, custom GPTs now that I know that that is possible. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope this helps. And if you're watching to the end, you're a legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.